Actress Katie Holmes spends most of her time living in New York City with her daughter Suri, reportedly in an apartment house on the Upper West Side. While she's a celebrity known to lead a very private life and keep her home details under wraps, if her current spot is anything like her other luxury properties, then we can assume it's stunning. We'll check out what we know about where Katie currently calls home, her mansion in Calabasas, and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Katie Holmes is an actress, director, and producer who rose to fame, starring as Joey Potter on the TV series Dawson's Creek from 1998 to 2003, one of my favorite classic shows. She also gained a ton of media attention from her marriage to Tom Cruise, which while didn't end up lasting, she got her beloved daughter Suri Cruise out of it. At the time of this recording, Katie has an estimated net worth of $25 million, which she's put towards her real estate in New York City as well as Los Angeles. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one looking at the properties of actress Katie Holmes. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 2019, it was reported that Katie was letting go of her most recent West Coast property to live full-time in New York City. Located in Los Angeles' pricey and celeb love suburb of Calabasas, Katie purchased this home quietly back in 2014 for about $3.8 million. This was likely to spend more time with her ex Jamie Foxx, whose 40-acre estate is just a short jaunt away in Hidden Hills. In any case, the beautiful home would have been difficult to part with, but it finally sold in early 2020 for just over $4 million. Described as a grand contemporary European manor, Katie's former residence was everything you'd expect of a Hollywood movie star, boasting world-class amenities including a private guest casita and two lush courtyards. The estate was more specifically in the gated community of the Oaks, where Katie's former neighbors included Kourtney Kardashian, Travis Barker, and more, while her property backed onto a nature preserve of rolling hills. Inside, Katie and her daughter Suri once enjoyed 6,200 square feet of living space arranged in an H-shaped layout around the courtyards, with five bedrooms and 5.5 baths not including the guest casita with additional bathroom. One of the courtyards opened to the sparkling pool, whereas the other served as a hidden motor court and entrance. The stone accented exterior was classy and elegant, just like Katie, and the privacy included with the half acre property was ideal for the actress as well. I love the entryway of this house and it sets the tone for what's to come. There are rich wooden floors, high ceilings, and a statement making staircase that still manages to be welcoming. On one side, there's an arched hallway leading to other main floor spaces, while there's a loft area turned office off of the staircase to break things up. One family room boasts multiple French doors out to the yard, a fireplace, and flat screen TV, while the eat-in kitchen is set up for large meals. Aside from the designer appliances and finishes, there are also two eat-in snack bars, a casual dining table, and elsewhere a large butler's pantry with wine fridge. The home's formal dining room is elegant, but far from stuffy, with comfy and stylish chairs, a cute chandelier, and surrounded by doors and windows with views of the pool. Another living room has windows all over and a double height contemporary fireplace, making for the perfect cocktail hour space. Upstairs, there were a bunch of guest rooms, one of which was made into a compact home gym, as well as a second sunny family room with a walkout terrace. Also on this floor, there was Katie's former master suite, made up of a private lounge with a balcony, luxury tiled ensuite, and dressing room. The upper level balcony is sprawling and I think this refreshing outdoor space is where Katie would have done her 20 minutes of gratitude which she does every morning, a practice that helps her unwind she says. Outside the classic mansion there's a heated and shaded outdoor dining patio opening up to a sports court on one side. Opposite that, you'll see a grassy yard, outdoor kitchen, and the pool and spa complex that looks resort-like. Not to mention they integrated a sunken fire pit here too. 
Back in 2012, when Katie first expressed interest in moving to the Big Apple with her daughter, she rented out a 12.5K per month apartment at the Chelsea Mercantile that had ideal privacy to steer clear of paparazzi. In 2015, Katie upgraded her New York City living situation with this stunning, fully furnished penthouse rental in the centrally located Chelsea neighborhood. And this one cost Katie a whopping 25K per month but it seems the 2,400 square foot residence was well worth it. The full service building on West 17th Street is described as a boutique condominium boasting only four apartments per floor, all with views and roomy floor plans, as well as full time doorman. Katie and Surrey lived the high life here, and the space offered three bedrooms and two bathrooms throughout. There was an open floor plan with an extra spacious foyer with stone floors, sleek walls, and multiple closets in storage. The multi-level apartment unit had a main living area that spanned 35 feet and combined the kitchen, dining room, and lounge areas. Here, there was a living room with a wood-burning fireplace set in custom slate tiles and views of the city below, as well as a compact kitchen with dream appliances, even a built-in espresso machine, a must-have for any city slicker here. The open staircase led to a teeny lounge that opened to a large private terrace spanning over 200 square feet, a rare treat in New York City. This terrace also had an outdoor shower and stunning views from the Empire State Building to the New World Trade Center. One of the bedrooms was labeled as a bedroom library on the floor plan, and Katie's former master suite was located away from the other rooms for privacy. The master had two wood paneled walls, a large window, a dressing hall fitted with wardrobes, and a dark themed ensuite with concrete vanity, heated towel rack, and glass shower. While Katie and Surrey still call New York City home, she's since relocated from that penthouse to a discreet full service apartment house situated on the Upper West Side. Katie is a celebrity known to lead a very private life, and even though she's often spotted walking around Manhattan or running errands, She's kept the details about her latest home in the city a secret. However, Katie has shared some glimpses into her Manhattan abode on social media, some of which came during the global lockdown. One major sneak peek was in May 2020, when she posted a self-recorded clip saying, Hello, welcome to AFI Movie Club. I'm Katie Holmes, and I'm honored to be announcing today's movie, which is Aaron Brockovich. In the black and white video, we can see Katie sitting in a room that appears to be the home office or study. There's a dark wall with floral art on it, as well as a chandelier overhead. Another picture the actress posted showcased her vintage decor skills. In December 2020, Katie was photographed in her NYC apartment promoting a wine brand. We can see her holding a glass of red wine, sitting on a cozy light brown leather couch, while the room also has a record player and background with red and white curtains. Also last year, Katie opened up in an interview about why she likes living in New York in the first place. Post-divorce, the actress was on a mission to shield her daughter from the paparazzi as much as possible, which wasn't easy, but she succeeded. Katie decided to move to New York after her divorce simply because there was so much to do at any given time, be it day and night, and she and Suri just have more fun in the Big Apple than in Los Angeles. Katie explained, Yes, it's a little too exposed at times and we work hard to maneuver and navigate. But what I love about New York is that for me and my child, this is our vibe. When there are 25 things to do every night, it takes you out of your own thing. And if Katie's flying solo, there are plenty of activities for her to enjoy as well. She added, I'll take a class at Broadway Dance Center. I'll go to the Joyce Theater. I do hot yoga and boxing classes. I have a book club. The city has a lot to offer and I use it. And you know what else I discovered? There's a place not far from my house that does foot massages until midnight. And with that, I think that concludes our Katie Holmes house tour. What did you guys think? I wasn't sure if she still lived in Los Angeles or not, but I knew she had a really nice home in Calabasas at one point, and I guess now we've seen how nice it really was. It couldn't have been easy to part with that sprawling estate, all its amenities in the LA weather, only to trade in for a smaller living situation in NYC, but that's just me. It's clear that Manhattan is the lifestyle that Katie and Surrey live for. What would you guys choose? A Hollywood lifestyle with a mansion and a swimming pool, or a fast-paced vibe in a luxury Manhattan apartment? Lucky for Katie, she's been able to experience the best of both. Be sure to drop me a comment with your thoughts on Katie's properties. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!